Before we get into the video, a while back over the summer, I designed a necklace with Ana Luisa. It's a silver heart that's made sort of imperfect looking with a northern star cut out on the inside. It's so perfect for everyday wear or paired up with other layering necklaces when you're feeling dressy and fancy. It's hypoallergenic and water and tarnish resistant, so worry not when you're playing in the waters. The time is ticking and it'll only be on their website for a limited time now. It won't be restocked once it's sold out, but there is a last chance discount going on. I'm quite sad that I won't be on the market soon, but I'm so, so grateful that I got to collaborate and bring my ideas to life to you guys. Well, someone has certainly been in here. Um, I got myself a mocha because I wanted hot chocolate, but I also need the caffeine, so perfect solution. Today we're gonna- today we're still pr today- today we're still printing the girls on the dragon image. Um, I've just done the blue and honestly, I want to finish- I want to finish it today, like- Three colors, magenta, yellow, black, just get it over with. Um, yeah, I feel motivated and I feel excited to work. I don't want to take off my jacket because it's kind of cold in here. I did a little oopsie on the microphone. I put it on the camera, but then I was like, uh, maybe I won't use it because people started coming in and I don't really want to whisper into a microphone when there's people working in the same studio so i ended up not using the microphone but it wouldn't pick up any noises now because essentially i turned the noise off so i'm just gonna add some music and pretend it never happened I'm checking out my nail because just a little warning, I chopped the tip of my nail off while I was cutting carrots, but I'm okay now. So when I got towards the end of the printing process, I think this was one of my last few prints that I had to do, 
but the ink got really dry and I should have put on more but I was too lazy to get it and yeah it was just really hard for me to flood and flooding is when you push the screen back like away from you to coat the little holes on your screen on your mesh We've bandaged the fingers and figured out what was wrong with the audio, so got that fixed. And this is how the print is looking so far. I've got cyan and then magenta on top. I think I've been feeling a bit burnt out, um, maybe because I'm on my period and maybe because I was looking at my YouTube like statistics thing and I've posted six videos in the past month, which is crazy. That's like more than a video a week. And it was because I took this almost month long break after the holidays, because I just didn't really have anything to post and be excited about. But then I think I got overly excited so I, I went a little bit overboard and now I'm feeling a bit burnt out. Um, I should have gotten this video out over the weekend, but it's already Wednesday as I am doing this voiceover and still finishing up on editing. So I don't know when this is gonna be out, but I am running a little bit behind. Um, I think that's just how life is. Like it's always gonna be a balance of do you want to be productive? Do you want to get up and get this bread? Or if you do that too much, you might end up feeling mentally sick and just tired from life. Anyways, um, I've decided to try something new with this silk screening. So you can see how I put orange on one end and yellow on the other and I sort of mixed it in a little bit. But if you're gonna do a gradient, you have to print a few times on newsprint to get the colors nice and blended, which is what I did. And now I'm just printing on top of it. I always think it's quite cool how the print looks different um, seconds after it's been printed versus like half an hour later when it's been fully dried because somehow the colors just set in so much better. I'm really glad I tried something new with silk screening. I think with any skill, once you're like decent at it, you just don't really feel the need to explore more. At least that's the case for me. But I want to change that and I'm hoping to try different techniques and ways to print for silkscreen. I did say that I was gonna try finishing this and do the black, but then my boyfriend was already on his way home from his jobs. So I had to choose between getting the black done but then taking the bus home or saving the black for another day and getting a ride from my boyfriend which is what i did and i also shared this peanut butter banana cinnamon bagel with him it wasn't it wasn't that good i think i could have made a better one for sure focal well that's not gonna work is it why This is when, so last week I was talking about Cotton's sponsored clothing and it's like these little cute t-shirts and jeans or whatever that I got from them and this is like the actual footage of me trying to be, <laughs> trying to be an influencer and like, oh my god, do a photo shoot. It was horrendous, like 
I was walking up in mud and I was slipping and falling and my fingers, my broken fingers did not help with the grip. And girlies, I've been going to the gym for three months now and I still can't pull myself up. But anyways, this is how um, the image turned out. So it's definitely like an Instagram versus reality scenario here. Kate was selling at Ocean Studios comic and zine fair. So I came down and I saw so many amazing pieces and they're obviously not just comics and zines. People were selling like literally anything. Everything was so cute and I wanted to spend a lot of money. This is her stall. Look how cute the cats are. Oh my God. And she also had necklaces and ceramic trinkets. Here's me enjoying an egg tart and deciding which necklace should I get. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Really better than this? Mm -hmm. Let me finish this. I can <laughs> in the drying cupboard because it's so cold today all right i know i've put in a lot of silk screening content for you guys this week it might not be the most interesting once you've seen me do a couple a couple goes so i'm printing the black today and i'm just gonna make this part really quick i've edited out most of the footage on this so ta-da just showing you the final result of how it looks like with the black on now that the girls have black hair. It makes quite a big difference, I think. A year ago, around Christmas, I visited Berlin just for fun. And I met up with this subscriber and she had given me the 2023 calendar at the time. And now she's mailed over the 2024 calendar that she designed. I think she's like doing this, I don't know, like design company. She's working with friends and other creatives and living her dream job. At least that's what she told me the last time I talked to her. But I just thought I'd give it a little run through of the artwork because it's honestly so good. 
I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Charlotte. A little bit about this week's sponsor. I've been using my Flexi Spot Standing Adjustable Height Desk for quite some time now, and I'm really pleased with the quality of it. I love how the height is adjustable just by pressing a button, and you can program it to your personalized seated height or standing height. I love using it to pack my orders. It's so spacious that I can be messy and sprawled out however much I want. FlexiSpot makes furniture that's as seamless, sturdy, and eco-conscious as it is homey and comfortable. I always come into my art room and sit in front of this desk because it's such a comforting, safe space. FlexiSpot always use materials that are easy to recycle or have already been recycled. They make sure that the wood comes from sustainability management forests. Recently, they are promoting their new E7 model standing desk, which has a 15-year warranty and a 30-day risk-free return service. The E7 Pro has a weight capacity for up to 400 pounds, which is so insane. And pairing up with their C7 chair, you can adjust the flexibility for back support and the weight capacity is 320 pounds. Check out FlexiSpot if you're trying to upgrade your office or art studio space. There's a code in the description box below. My heart's to lie.